Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Augustine, one of the great bishops and doctors of the Church. Let us pray in this Mass that like, like St. Augustine, we may also be converted from love of life to a life of love. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to us to heal us and bring us strength. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Renewing your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, 
On the subject of fraternal charity, you have no need for anyone to write you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you do this for all the brothers throughout Macedonia. Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a tranquil life, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your own hands as we instructed you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Before the Lord, for He comes, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I know you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. 
So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if there is one word that could best describe the life of St. Augustine, whose feast day we celebrate today, it is the word conversion. The prayers and tears of his mother, St. Monica, the instructions of the bishop, St. Ambrose, and God himself, whom St. Augustine encountered in the scriptures, all these redirected Augustine's life and led him to conversion from sinner to saint, from an advocate of false teachings and philosophies to a staunch defender of the Catholic faith as a bishop. In fact, more than 500 of his homilies are still extant. Conversion from love of life to a life of love. Another word for conversion is progress, which St. Paul used in his letter to the Thessalonians, as we heard in our first reading today. St. Paul was praising the Thessalonians because they were living out God's commandment of love. But St. Paul said, progress even more. If you are already loving your neighbors, then love them even more. Progress in love. Progress is also the theme of the parable of Jesus in our gospel today. The point of Jesus in his parable is not so much on how much is given, but on what one does to what one has been given. The real issue is not how much you received. The real issue is what do you do with what you received? A wicked servant does nothing with what was entrusted to him. That is why he does not progress. He is simply satisfied with the status quo. While a good and faithful servant uses what has been entrusted to him, and because of this, what has been entrusted multiplies and increase. Hindi naman talaga mahalaga kung marami o konti ang ibinigay. Kahit na konti, 
pwedeng padamihin kung gagamitin natin. Another word for conversion and progress is growth. Conversion, as we see it in the life of St. Augustine, is growth from being a sinner to becoming a saint. That is growth. Progress in love and progress in the gifts God has given us, as we see in our readings today, is also growth. Growth is an important aspect in our Christian life because Christian life is about growing. It is about improving. It is about developing. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, we ask ourselves, are we open to growth? Are we open to conversion? Are we open to progress? Are we open to changes for the better? Are we progressing in our life? Or are we regressing? Are we growing? Or have we become stagnant? My dear brothers and sisters, one sign of life is growth. Something that is alive grows. And the moment something no longer grows, that means it has already died. There is no life. And so in living our Christian life, we will be alive if we continue to grow. Let us ask for that grace that like, like St. Augustine, we may always be open to God's Word inviting us to conversion, to progress, and to growth. Let us strive every day to grow so that our life may become a life of love May we strive every day to grow so that we may become saints. May we strive every day to grow so that we may become more like Jesus. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator, and for every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always use the many different gifts of her members let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may respect God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people may share in the earth's resources and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development to our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That doctors, nurses, and those in the healthcare profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones when we come into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of His body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mari.